Hey what's up soldiers, my name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today I have the full tutorial for you guys of Zetsubo no Shima, the entire easter egg. Hope you guys do enjoy. This was made in part with my friend Jay Skeleton, so big props to him. Go check him out, his link is down in the description. He was the one that actually put this together because all the clips I had were from my live stream and I didn't want my face cam and the entire tutorial for you guys. I wanted to make it a little bit more professional and look better. So go check him out, subscribe to him. He's a really awesome dude and he posts some awesome videos. So the first thing you need is anywhere but here gobblegum. This is a classic gobblegum that you end up unlocking at a really early round. I believe it's 11 to 13. It may be 12, it may be 14, but I know it's like right somewhere in that bread basket area. So you need to make sure you have anywhere but here when you're playing. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to go check the challenges. Now you do this by opening up the right door from the spawn and then you open up this door. The first door is 500, that door is 750 and you can check your challenges. So there's always going to be new challenges usually. Sometimes it switches up, sometimes it stays the same. And I'm going to be making a video breaking down each of the challenges and what you actually have to do for all of them if you guys are still confused because there are some really, really tough ones and that's a video I'm gonna be working on on like Monday but I'm just really busy this weekend with packs and all that stuff so anyways guys once you get your challenges you need to start working on them and you can also upgrade the skull of non -Sapa. now I'm gonna put a tutorial down in the description as well as a few more tutorials in order to get the KT4 as well as the upgraded KT4 and the skull of non -Sapa. you guys can check all those out uh, this is a very very important thing that you need now basically there's four skulls around the map and you fill them up and then you can get the skull of non -Sapa. you need it for parts of the Easter egg so I highly recommend you guys do it and like I said you need the KT4 that is also another very very important thing for the easter egg and like i said i have a tutorial down in the description if you guys are unsure how to do it so once you end up doing that guys you also are going to need the zombie shield and the gas mask those are going to help you out in the long run especially when you're in the boss fight and i highly recommend building those as soon as possible so that you guys are protected from the spore um like infection or the thing that makes it basically makes you cough and sick so you really need that because sometimes if you don't have a gun out zombies will attack you and then you're kind of screwed so you go down here to the purple room and you mesmerize that wall right there so uh, that's where you get purple water that room right there and it will drop that poster underneath it if you mesmerize it so that is very very important you guys got to make sure that you do that uh, that is the first and most important step that you can possibly do on this map because all the other stuff will not work unless you do that so once you end up doing that guys you also need to make your way over here into the first room of the bunker right next to the danger sign and you end up using the mesmerize on that wall right there now what it basically does is open up an engine room where you're gonna place the cogs later on in the video and you guys will totally see that that is what opens up an elevator so that you can actually end up going down to the boss fight so so it is very very important that you guys do both of those steps because they do play a huge role later on in the video so like I said guys just mesmerize that door so there you can place the cogs and like I said we're gonna be doing that and showing you guys in a second of exactly what you need to do for those steps the next thing you need to do is you actually need to go down here and do the boss fight against the spider this is going to enable you to get widow's wine for free 100% and it also is important because you need a step of it to upgrade the KT4. So you pick up the tooth right there on the spider. Now that is one of the three pieces that is needed in order to turn the KT4 into the massive moon, which is the wonder weapon that you need 100% for the boss fight. So the next thing you do is you wait for lightning here, guys, and you wait for lightning on this middle area where you got the skulls for the skull of non -Sapla. It's gonna electrocute it, and boom, there you can get an electric shield. Now, you don't have to hold it out this whole time. It was kind of just dramatized, I guess you could say, uh, to help you guys understand what exactly is going on. You can see those electrical charges on the shield. Sometimes it can glitch a little bit and it will show up on your screen entirely, but but 
that is really not too important so when you do co-op you need to shock it and then someone has to call you down your teammate like as you can see i'm going to call him down right now if you're playing solo all you have to do is shock it and you can call yourself down so that is another thing and your teammate also has to call you up and you can call up yourself if you're playing solo so keep those things in mind there's a few other differences that have to do with solo where there's complete different things you need to do but it's not really too bad so you're going to grab the vial from the skeleton that is upright so he already grabbed it there was a blue vial sticking between its ribs so that is the second piece you need for the upgraded kt4 and the last and final piece is probably the most challenging and you get rainbow water by going in under the through the sewer and one thing that is very very important guys is you have to grab this right when the 115 rock shows up so you can kind of see it there with the arrow to it guys basically you have to press square as fast as you possibly can as soon as you're passing by it otherwise you'll end up missing the rainbow water now this is needed for the upgrade of the upgraded kt4 the next thing you need to do is you need to go down where you got the original piece for the kt4 if you don't know how to do this then you still need to check that out but you need to mesmerize the wall to the right hand side where you actually grab the plant normally it's directly ahead you have to memorize or mesmerize that wall and you plant a plant at the bottom and you water it with the rainbow water that you just obtained through going through the sewer you have to do this once per round for the next three rounds otherwise this will not work once you've done it all three rounds on the fourth round you can grab the last and final piece of the flower that is down there and boom you can upgrade the Masamu if you guys want to check out a full tutorial for that there's also going to be a link down in the description so anyways guys we get the Masamu now and this is where you can start to do the Easter egg steps for the actual overall Easter egg so the next thing you need guys is you need to get the cog so the first one is you can get it by electric shocking your zombie shield once again and you use the zip line now you you hold it down and there will be a teammate at the dock that is going to shock it or hit it with the shield and that is going to allow someone to drop down so that you guys can actually pick up the cog right here so as you can see it shocked it and make sure you're over it I've messed up so many times doing it to other people and other people doing it to me where you fall in the water you will die and lose everything so you need to make sure that you land perfectly on the map so there is the first cog guys that is one of them you can get these cogs in any particular order you'd like and like i said guys it is really really important that you guys do this properly and do it right at the right time what i end up doing is i have my friend say go and then that's when i hit it so uh you need to say it like a half a second before so that he actually drops it at the right time or your teammate does because it can get very very annoying and if you do it solo all you have to do is do the melee motion uh, basically press circle or r3 if you don't have tactical on and you will drop yourself that's if you're playing solo so keep that in mind the next thing you need is the anywhere but here gobblegum as obtained through the gobblegum machine and what you actually need to do is make your way over to where you killed the spider and you can use anywhere by here and boom you're in this really weird room with some dragon eggs which is really weird and there's even a map uh, of a skeleton of a dragon but then you can get the cog piece laying on the floor and that is the second one guys see like the eggs are hatched it's really really weird um, that might show up later on in the zombie storyline we'll have to wait and see and the next thing that you need to do guys is another one that's very very challenging you basically need to get blue water and you need to plant a seed and for three rounds water with the blue water and then shoot it with the kt4 you have to do this for three rounds until it is fully grown and once it's fully grown you'll see this flower with the yellow spots you open it up and boom there is a missile for you now you're going to use this to destroy one of the planes that is going to fly over the map remember guys it has to be purple and have those yellow spots sometimes it has the same exact flower but it gives you a power up so i recommend doing this multiple times so once you do this guys you're going to go over here to where the actual turret is and you can actually load up the bullet into this 
gun, which is really cool. So right here we end up loading it because there was actually a zombie chasing us. So it was kind of difficult in order to do it right there. But you need to load it up into the gun first and you'll hear like a clicking noise where it kind of like clicks in and then when another plane goes by that you just look directly at it you have to look directly at it and you blow up the plane so there's going to be a cog piece that will fall from this plane in various different areas so we're going to shoot it down again like i said you need to be as far over to the actual gun as you possibly can and be di looking directly at the plane you can fire it too late and too early so make sure that it's like directly in the line of sight it has to be perfect or else it will not work so anyways guys there is going to be a cog that falls around the map and it can be in various different areas it can be right here in the spawn it can be over by the green water blue water the stairs of a and b it can literally be anywhere around the map so right here we found it near uh the a lab and it's going to be smoking it's a little faint but you can kind of see it there and um you can grab it so once you grab all three of them guys you're actually going to be able to do the easter egg now i recommend getting set up make sure you have perks make sure you have all the different things you need the massive moon and before we actually like the first two times we did the easter egg multiple people had the massive moon so if you get multiple kt4s you can do it so there you place the cogs inside of the generator and boom then it's going to open up the elevator so that you guys can actually go down. So like I said guys, make sure you have your guns pack punch, save a zombie, make sure you have good gobble gums, and everybody has to go in there. Sometimes it only allows one person to use it, and I believe it's the person who puts the cogs in. So anyways guys, then you press square and you go down the elevator. Now this is where stuff gets freaking crazy. This is the boss fight, this is probably not as hard as the Derizon Drac one in my opinion. It's a lot faster actually, which is really good. So it's actually going to open up behind you um, where you were looking when you came in and you shoot those different routes with the like you shoot the orange stuff with the massive moon and basically that's how you open this up and you get into the boss fight area. So basically you're basically killing Richtof and you shoot the one that's on his arm there and basically it's going to be endless waves of thrashers zombies and spiders and if you have the mass moon you can literally keep shooting this thing every single time you destroy one of Takio's arms or the roots then you end up getting a max ammo so unless it glitches you're pretty much set I recommend using the Marshall 16 the Haymaker and the Brecky. Those are like the three best weapons as well as the Dingo for like actual assault gun weapons. Those are like the four best guns for the boss fight besides the Massa Moon. So I do recommend that you guys do use those because they are going to absolutely destroy Thrashers super quick, super easy, and it'll be very, very helpful in the long run. Also, I recommend using Aftertaste as your gobble gum in the boss fight as well as Phoenix Up because you can get your teammates up uh, as well so you can only use one of them obviously so decide if you're going to be a team player or if you're going to be a selfish player it's really up to you so anyways guys once you get all of this done you end up completing and you shoot all three of Takio's arms and there's like one fourth one that you shoot and then boom the cutscene will end up playing directly after so you've basically completed it from that point so I really hope this helped you guys. If it did, be sure to drop it a like. If you guys are going to do the Easter egg, let me know. If you guys have already completed it, let me know. And let me know if this actually helps you. So you're going to see a thing like shake your screen basically. And you know that you've completed it at that point. And uh, it, it's honestly really, really exciting. Especially beating it the first time. I was so stoked. I'm actually going to be uploading uh, the boss fight tomorrow so you guys can see my first initial reaction to completing the overall easter egg. I was just so hyped. A lot of you guys probably saw it in my stream if you were there. If you didn't, you're missing out. I stream every single day and uh, I do the easter eggs and all that stuff. So anyways guys, once again, huge, huge props to my friend Jay Skeleton who actually edited down all this footage for you guys and uh, if you guys wouldn't mind going over showing him some love support and subscribing to him that'd be greatly appreciated so anyways guys later on i'm going to actually be showing you guys or doing the top five call of duty plays of the week that i do every sunday but uh while you guys are watching this i'm actually at pax 
so it'd really mean a lot if you guys could show some support on it so when I look at my phone and glance at it while I'm waiting in line or something then I could know that you guys are there supporting me and it really does mean a lot so anyways thank you so much for watching my name is Greg FPS and I'll see you guys next time peace out